<laughs> so he's a man who never stops, whether he's leading a national PE lesson, plunging into an ice bath or breaking a world record. Joe Wicks continues to motivate all of us. Well, now he's taken over Christmas, hoping to inspire children in the festive period with his new book, The Burpee Bears, mm. a Christmas adventure. He joins us now and it's lovely to see you. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Thanks for having me back. I mean, you are so busy in so many different ways. Um, and, and this one, it's not so much a book, it's more a sort of like a visual adventure, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm so passionate about, um, you know, reading to my children. I and mean, I think with the imagery and the kind of illustration, it really brings it to life. Yeah. yeah. But ultimately, you know, it's everything I believe in around movement, around exercise, around mental health, around family time. And there's a nice message around kindness and loneliness because the granny bear can't reach the children. They can't reach the bears because there's a big snowstorm. So yeah. daddy bear says, right, if, if granny can't reach us, we're going to take Christmas to her. So it's, a, it's about movement, adventure, how physical exercise lifts the energy and the mood of the family. So it's like messages that are important for children to learn, I think. And physical exercise that you don't necessarily know that you're doing. It's not like rocking up to a hit class, which is great if you're into that, but if you've got a busy family life, it's about keeping active as a family yeah. without maybe realising it. Well, you know, in the summer it's easy, isn't it, because you've got, like, the sunshine, but in the winter it's hard and you think, oh, it's really hard getting outside. But in this book, you know, they go outside and make a snow bear, they do, they do snow angels, and, you know, that thing of just, like... It, when you move your body, you know, as a family, you lift the vibe, you know, the energy sort of in increases. And it's like hiding the carrots in your children's food, isn't it? It's like <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Stuff that's good for you, but hide that, you don't know what you're eating. So in actual fact, doing the snow angels and all that sort of stuff, all exercise, if it ever snows yeah. again, obviously, but, um, but doing that sort of stuff is it's good for the mind. Yeah, it's good. Look, I really believe that, you know, exercise is so important for our mental health. And as a young child myself, like, exercise was my release. It was my therapy. Like, I needed it. And so if I can get that message across in a children's book to get kids thinking about movement and exercise, that hopefully it can be something they can use as a tool to... Because, you know, kids are really showing signs of anxiety and, like, real st struggling mm. with mental health. So I think a positive book like this can help them and inspire families. And also what's lovely about this is something else you feel passionate about is that it's not just the story inside, it's the book itself, that moment of bonding between a parent and a child when you simply sit and read together. Yeah, you, you will obviously know this because, you know, as, a, as, a, as someone who's busy, you know, work and, and things can be quite, you know, you're moving at 100 miles an hour, but when you stop and read a book to your child and you're cuddling in bed and you both get, like, oxytocin, you both get that chemical where you feel good. It was one, feel... of, one of my most favourite ever times. You feel yeah, bond, don't you? It's, and it's like, it's so important. So for me, I don't read to Indian Mali because I'm concerned about them being academic or really smart. It's, I want them to know I love them and I'm there for them and that I'm going to be yeah. at that bedtime every night doing that routine and getting them ready for bed. And I think it's so powerful. I actually just read Child in the Chocolate Factory the first time to her. And oh. seeing her, like, mind and her imagination go mm. made me realise, like, reading is so important for children. No, I don't remember that as a kid. I was just looking at the front of here and it says, I dedicate this book to Indy Marley and the little baby we are yet to meet in Rosie's tummy, who, of course, is now here. Yeah, they were pressing me for a... They were like, we need the, the, um, the acknowledgements. I said, oh, look, can I just have a few more days? But I missed the deadline. And so, yeah, we just we obviously gave her an so unknown it's Lenny? Name. It's Lenny, yeah. Eight Lenny, weeks old? Lenny Blossom Wicks. Yeah, she's eight weeks old and she's, oh. she's a spitting image of... Um, of India, I think, with you, baby. Congratulations. And how's it having three? Yeah, you know what? It's obviously like there's more, more, more stuff going on. It's obviously like a bit more stressful at dinner time and things and sort of getting out of the house. But I love it. I love this early phase, the cuddles and you know, the chesties where yeah. she used to sleep on me every night before bed. And I love that. So, yeah, it's nice. Oh, so nice. And, um, uh, and we haven't seen you, I don't think, since your MBE. Yeah, that was a few months, a few months ago in yeah. the summertime, yeah. So how, did that feel a bit surreal? Yeah, I mean, I haven't changed my like, business cards when I don't go around saying Joe Wicks <laughs> MBE. But I actually got a lovely <laughs> letter from someone. Um, a young girl wrote a letter from, from school and she did write Joe Wicks MBE. It was really sweet. But uh, it's weird seeing it on paper because I've never actually seen any write, anyone write it. Well, like it's that. nice you took your brother with you as well because you're allowed to take. Is it you're allowed to take one guest? Is yeah, only one works? guest. And obviously, yeah. I would have loved to take my mum and, and my dad and my nan and everyone that would have been special to me. But because Nicky was there in my earpiece, he was like really, yeah. it was half of us. We both done P with Joe together. Yeah. So we, um, yeah, we've done well receiving that. So yeah. proud of it. Princess Anne, was it? Yeah, Princess Anne uh, at Windsor Palace. You know, it's just an amazing experience. Do you, do you, did you get there at any stage and think, how the hell did this happen? Yeah, I was really... I mean, it, the build-up to it, because the rooms kept getting bigger and more grander, and then I was obviously at the end, I was Wix, I was W, so I was getting really, really nervous, and I was really overwhelmed. Like, I was, you know, basically in tears a little bit, and Nikki's like, come, we're all right, bro. We've done really well, and be proud of yourself. And then she just kind of made me feel really at ease when I actually got the award, so... But, yeah, like... You know, I never imagined anything like that. It's crazy, really. Well, it's because you keep doing such brilliant work. Something else you're doing this weekend, you launched the Children in Need uh, Walk With Joe. 
So yeah. what's, what's that all about? So Walk With Joe is a, is a campaign um, in association with Park Run to get uh -huh. families together, you know, doing different walks around the UK. Um, I went to Maidenhead, we had about a thousand people, and then I went to um, Newport in Wales. And essentially it's, like, it's an outdoor walk where we're, you know, getting out, talking, walking out some stress, feeling good, and then raising money for Pudsey in the process. And next weekend I'm in um, Dundee and Nottingham. Brilliant. Well, you've yeah. already, in 2020, I think you raised 20, uh, 2 million, didn't you? Is well, that was million? a 24 hour PE with Joe Challenge, yeah. yeah. So I said, rather than do something like me doing some physical challenge, why, what can I do to like, engage lots of people into yeah. mass participation? Because I think getting outside and walking in nature is really powerful. So, yeah, that was the idea. And on the final day on the actual appeal night, I'm walking an ultramarathon, 30 miles Are into you? the studio in Manchester to announce what we've raised. Oh, well, good luck with that. I don't that. have these ideas. I don't come up with this. My brother, Nicky, goes, <laughs> Joe, you're doing children in need this year. And he goes... Oh, is he so... just trying to, you know, he's just trying to get you out there? And at the last minute, he says, oh, you're also walking an ultramarath. And I'm like, yeah, right, And, the, and you've got the cookbook. There. There's a cookbook on the Next way at some year, stage. I think that is. Yeah, yeah, you've got to I'm... write that as you're walking. Yeah, I've got to do... I'm, I'm, I'm busy, yeah. But, I, you know, I love... If I can inspire people to keep cooking and yeah. exercising and sleeping and, you know, being connected with their families and I'm, I'm doing a positive thing with my time on Earth, you know, that's what I do. Yeah, that's you really sure. are. This is the book we're talking about, The Burpee Bears, A Christmas Adventure. That's the latest one. Thank you. Thank Lovely you so to much. Love to all the families. Thank you. Well. Cheers.